Tom St. Feet is gone, so who is going to be the next coach of Trinidad Tobago? EXTV looks into this and gives our top five choices for who is going to be the next coach. Number five, Francisco Maturana, the Colombian, played for Colombia, coached great teams like Atletico Nacional, as coach Trinidad uh, back in 2007-2008. He is, uh, you know, an unlikely choice. Uh, he's been here before. Language is a problem. So let's see. He's on our top five. The least likely to probably get the job, but he's in there. And the rumors have been saying that he's going to be the coach. So let's see how that goes. Number four, Stephen Hart. Yes, that's Stephen Hart. Stephen Hart who left us just a couple weeks ago. The guy who took us to consecutive Gold Cup uh, runs, which were very well. Uh, he took us to the finals of the uh, uh, the Caribbean Cup. Losing to Jamaica and arguably took us to our most success since we've had since Ben Hacker and after the World Cup. Um, whether the wounds are still fresh, whether it's still open, nobody knows if it's too much of a hurdle to jump. It's not impossible, but highly unlikely. So Stephen Hart is number four in our list. Number three. The Englishman Terry Fenwick, the guy who played at first time experience against Diego Maradona, the former QPR man, has been in Trinidad for many years. Uh, we all know him for his fiery attitude. He's not afraid to shy away from saying what he has to say. Uh, Terry Fenwick is very knowledgeable of the game. He also has won a lot in recent times. Uh, but his personality is an issue that many people seem to not really gel with. Uh, as a sort of Jose Mourinho type confrontational but some people say it's it's a no-nonsense mentality. Um, it's been well documented that they have been, because of his past with Central FC and so on, it may hamper his chances. So it's down to really personality. On paper, he may be the right guy and he is knowledgeable. Uh, once again, this is not my choice. This is just what we've seen from reading in the media and so on. So Mr. England, Mr. Three Lions himself is number three on our list. Number two, Mr. W Connection himself. Stuart Charles Fevrier, man from St. Lucia, has won the TT Pro League and is known throughout the circles in Trinidad as an intellectual. He likes the analytical side of the game. Um, he is respected by his players and has been a mainstay at Derby Connection for many years. Uh, many are saying due to his relationship with the current president, who is very knowledgeable of his skills and his skill set, he is a likely guy. He has coached Trinidad way back in the early 2000s. And he also left, so he has been in the setup before. We'll see if he can make it. So, Stuart Charles Ferrier is number two on our list. And number one, but before we do this, I just want to remind you all, this is not what who we want, but based on media and reports and news and just being our own guys and whatever, uh, we're not saying this is the ideal choice. We're not even saying this is our choice. We're just saying what we think are the likely choices. So with that being said, number one on our list, Russell, the little magician, Latterby. I mean, for as a footballer, there's nothing much else to say about Latterby. He is arguably one of our most successful players. He has played in Portugal, Scotland. He took us with the team to the World Cup 2006. And he has coached Trinidad and Tobago before. So three out of the five people on this list have been, you know, there already. Uh, whether he is the right man for the job, he recently coached the under-17 team and, you know, with some mixed results. But to his defense, it was a short period of time. A lot of people have mixed views about his first uh, 10 years coach. But so did all the other coaches before. Uh, a lot of people are murmuring he's the right guy. And it, it seems as if due to the budget and the financial restrictions we have in place, Russell Latipi, most likely by our best guess, would be the next coach of Trinidad and Tobago. So there you have it, folks. That's our five, top five coaches, possible coaches for Trinidad and Tobago. Let us know your thoughts. Once again, it's not who we really want, but who we think, based on what we know in the environment, is going to take over. So let us know your thoughts. Is that is your coach in the top five? Is your coach even not in the top five? Is there somebody else you want? Is there somebody else you think is going to make it? And just to emphasize again, this is not who we want, but who we think is most likely to take over. Of course, I would love Jose Mourinho or somebody to coach Trinidad and Tobago, but that's just me being wishful. So let us know know your thoughts subscribe to our youtube channel like our facebook page and feel free to let us know who you think is the most likely coach and do you agree with our top five so once again as always this is andre soklal signing out